Welcome to Jay's Two Cents exclusive insider coverage of CES 2014. Our trip this year is brought to you by AquaTuning, your global source for PC modding and cooling components, and by Sennheiser, the pursuit of perfect sound, and of course, by generous viewers like you. Hey guys, Jay's Two Cents here in the A Data Suite at CES 2014. Now, Earlier this year, I took a look at the SX900 SSD. And you, a lot of people don't realize that ADATA is actually the manufacturer of the SSD modules that go inside these different hard drives. Now, ADATA has really been revolutionary when it comes to advancing the technology of the chip manufacturing. And what that means is by getting more and more information in a smaller and smaller package. Now, what we're looking at right here is the XU41. This little chip, this little module right here is the entire SSD. This is the future of SSDs. This is what allows us to get very small and thin smartphones, very small laptops and tablets because I mean, I don't know if you can even see how thin that chip is. I mean, that is what maybe one millimeter at best. It's 16 by 20 millimeters in size. Now to kind of give you a perspective of what this does to the overall size of the SSD, they've got an SX900 right here, basically ripped open where they have just one of those chips right here in the middle. Now this little bitty chip right here is actually 128 gigabyte just in this tiny little chip. So. If you were to get an array of these inside of an SSD, it allows you to make a very large capacity SSD in a very small form factor, which is what we have right here. The SX930 XPG from ADATA. Now you may notice on there it says two terabytes. This is a two terabyte SATA SX, SX, SSD. Uh, now, when you have expansion of SSD capacity like that, you need to have a controller that's capable of that. So what we're looking at right here is a little test bed they have set up that's doing a constant read-write. With the same technology that is in this, this actual SSD right here through SATA, uh, in a PCI Express slot, running the brand new Sandforce LSI 3700 controller, which allows you to use a giant capacity like this without sacrificing any speed. Now, the PCI Express version obviously is going to be a bit faster than the SSD itself running through SATA because SATA is sort of a bottleneck in, in that communication line. But with direct lanes to the CPU through the PCI Express slot with the same technology that's in this SSD hard drive right here, they're getting an 1800 megabyte per second read speed. 1800 megabytes per second, guys. Could you imagine the boot speeds or just how fast you could index a hard drive with that type of read speed? So that is the SX930 two terabyte SSD. It's gonna be available up to two terabytes starting at 128 and up. Now you guys are gonna to wanna to know about availability and when you can buy that. It's gonna be sometime around the middle of this year because they're still uh, continuing to refine the LSI 3700 Sandforce controller because the worst thing you could have is a controller that's no good and it corrupts your data and you don't want that. So once the uh, controller is completely matured, you can expect to see that on the market sometime middle of this year. Now, we all know DDR4 is not that far away. And in fact, we know that because I am holding a DDR4 2133 megahertz CL15 RAM module right here. Now, what's the benefit of DDR4? Well, you know, speed-wise, it may not be an incredible increase. In fact, I'm not even sure because this is a working dim slot or dim uh, stick right here, but we don't have a demo here to be able to actually show any of its speed. But let me tell you, this is a 16 gigabyte dim right here. 16 gigabytes on one stick. So it's gonna allow you to be able to run uh, 32 megabytes if you need to on a major rendering station or something like that without having to occupy a whole lot of slots inside of your, uh, inside of your motherboard. But according to the little label right here, we do have eight gigabyte and 16 gigabyte capabilities on these single dims. So when it comes to memory, ADATA has certainly got you covered with your SSDs and upcoming DDR4 that's gonna be launching at some point later this year. So guys, this has been Jay's Two Cents here in the ADATA suite at CES 2014. Make sure you follow us on Twitter so you don't miss any of our coverage. I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing that and I'm sick of saying that. But anyways, I will see you guys in my next video.